Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lulu and today I'm going to be talking about sock curls. So uh, these, this is uh, day three sock curls. So um, my curls are starting to fall out a little bit. They're stretching out, but I really like the way this looks. Um, so I'm going to uh, share with you how I like to do sock curls, a few tips um, in case you're finding it hard to get your curl to hold. Um, and then also I will show you how I like to refresh. Okay, so first of all, what are sock curls? Well, you may have heard about sock curls before, you may have seen them, you may have even tried them yourself. Um, but for anyone not familiar, it's essentially wrapping your hair around socks. And um, I definitely like to do this when my hair is damp so that it will dry with the socks in them. And then when I take the socks out, um, I have curls. So that is sock curls. Um, I'm using trouser socks, I got these from my boyfriend. And just a pro tip, make sure that they're clean. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram channel, you may have um, heard a funny story about me accidentally using his dirty socks. But anyways, all in the name of beauty. So in this video, I'm showing how I like to put the socks into my hair. I start by drying my roots just a little bit with a hair dryer, and I'm doing this on damp hair, not wet hair. I use a clip to secure the socks while I'm wrapping, but I don't leave the clip in my hair later. It's just for this initial step. I'm taking sections of hair, wrapping them around the sock, and every time I do a wrap, I grab more hair. So it's wrap, grab more hair, wrap, and then you keep going all the way until the end. And after I'm done wrapping the sock, I secure the ends of my hair to the sock using a hair tie. So I'm essentially doing this to the other side, wrapping away from my face. And when I get to the end, I am bringing the two ends together at the back of my head and securing um, those together with a scrunchie or a hair tie while I sleep. Okay, so in the second video, I'm showing how I take the socks out. So this is the next morning. I've slept with my hair in socks overnight and I'm carefully taking the hair, unwrapping it from the sock. I don't wanna to be too rough on them just yet. Um, so I take the, the socks out. My curls are super defined, um, but I don't, you could leave them that way uh, if you like it. I personally like to have a little bit more um, natural looking curls. So I will shake them out um, kind of run my fingers through them, break them up a little bit, um, increase the volume, I'll push, you know, push up and kind of loosen up my roots. Um, and then I'll also show you here what the back looks like because I get a lot of questions about that. And keep watching till the end because I have some tips on how to avoid um, making the back look a little bit wonky. In this video, I'm showing how I refresh day two sock curls. Um, so I'm using just a little bit of dry shampoo. This is the Acure dry shampoo. I use it in my palms and in my fingertips to have maximum control because this stuff can go everywhere. And I just put a little on my fingertips and like zhuzh it up into the roots uh, just to bring back a little volume, mattify the roots, um, make it look a little bit more fresh. Um, and I really like day two sock curls because I like the like lived in look of the curls. Also, I noticed that one side is a little bit more defined, so I run my fingers through it to break them up just a little bit. Okay, now that you've seen how I like to put the socks in, how I take them out, how I style, and how I refresh, um, I figure I will just give you a few tips um, of things that I've learned or have helped me along the way to get better results and that may um, be something that you want to try. So the first is if you're struggling to get hold. Um, now my hair is naturally curly, it wants to hold curls, so even after three days it's still, um, it's still holding a curl pretty well, especially where my hair is the curliest, which is down in here. Um, but if your hair is straighter, it might not want to hold the curl as well. There might be other reasons too. Um, so for me, I usually just put leave-in conditioner in my hair um, before I do sock curls. But if you need a little bit more hold, you could try using um, a styler like a cream or a mousse or a gel. Um, so you could apply that to the hair before putting your socks in. Um, 
You can also try when you when your hair is dry and you're taking it out of the socks, you can uh, try using hairspray, just spray a little bit of hairspray and let it dry. And then when you go and kind of like break up the curl clumps, hopefully that will help to hold some of the curl. Um, and also a couple of things that I found for me are really helpful. First of all, if I put, if my hair is too wet when I put the socks in, then my hair will not dry overnight while I'm sleeping. And um, then I'll wake up in the morning, I'll take the socks out and the curl will immediately fall out because my hair is still super wet. So it definitely helps for me to make sure that my hair is pretty damp and on the way to dry when I put the socks in. So that's why in my video of how I do it, um, I like to dry the roots um, with a hair dryer first and I'll let the hair kind of air dry before I put the socks in. So damp is key. Um, the other thing is if you go to take the socks out and your hair is still a little bit wet, you can very gently take out the socks and you can actually use a diffuser to diffuse the hair. I like to pixie diffuse, so literally picking the curls up into the diffuser and letting it sit there, and then that can help to dry your hair without um, the curl kind of falling out. So those are some things that I have found that really help me in um, kind of maintaining the curl that comes from sock curls. Also, in terms of wrapping, so I hear a lot of people say that the front looks really great, but the back looks really weird. Um, so how you wrap can really affect the way that the back looks. A lot of times we're focusing on the front and getting those front pieces in, then when they come out, they look really nice. Um, but making sure that as you wrap the socks, I make sure that I'm pulling straight from the top so that I'm not getting any kind of like weird things going on as the hair is going into the socks. Um, also, you can try actually physically trying to do your twist a little bit further back. So the closer to the front that you do it and the more that you stay towards the side of your head, the more that the hair in the back is going to be straight or get wonky. So if you try to envision doing your twists kind of more towards the middle in the back, that will pull the hair in the back into the twist earlier so that you get that curl. Um, I've also heard of people trying more than two socks. I just like to do the two, um, but you could even try to section your hair do a sock on each side and maybe even a sock or two in the back. Um, so those are a couple of things to experiment with. I have not used more than two socks because I like the way mine turns out with the two. Um, and then also the socks themselves. So I mentioned that I'm using uh, my boyfriend's trouser socks. Um, the thickness of those works well for me. I don't wrap mine too tight because um, I, I want it to be comfortable for sleeping on them. Um, so I wrap it just tight enough to, you know, keep the curl in. Um, but I also like that the um, circumference of the socks stays big so that I get bigger curls. So, you know, you could, you can use other materials. I've seen people use, um, the, the tie or for around um, a robe that they have literally draped across their head and wrapped around that. So you, there's a lot of different things materials you can use to wrap and um, pay attention to how thick the material is because that will dictate you know how big or how small um, your curls are. Um, another thing that I've found is how tight I wrap in terms of how tight the coil is. So if you kind of take the the hair and wrap it and try to like elongate your your um, twist, then you'll have kind of elongated curls. If you wrap and keep the coil tight, then you'll have kind of shorter, um, more bouncy, curl, coilier, I don't know what the word is, but your, your curls will be a little bit more um, squished, I guess, is how I would describe it. So you can play around with how you wrap them and how spaced you want to keep the curls. And then also, depending on how long your hair is, you may want to experiment with longer pieces of fabric. Um, a trouser sock may not be long enough for somebody with really long hair. So anyways, lots of different variables and things to experiment with if you're interested in um, playing around with sock curls. All right, so that's how I do sock curls. And those are the tips and tricks I've learned along the way. So hopefully that helps you. Um, I love sock curls because it's got to be one of the easiest 
um, ways to style my hair, even easier than my curly routine, definitely easier than straightening my hair. Um, it takes no time at all. And I can't believe that I used to dry my hair and then curl it again to get it to look like this when all I needed was a pair of socks. So um, I've loved incorporating this into my routine, especially on um, days that I need a break or when I'm traveling. I love to do sock curls when I'm traveling because it's just a lot less um, equipment that I need to bring with me. So try it out. Let me know how it goes. Um, leave me some comments below. I'll, I'll try to answer any questions that you may have. And thank you so much for watching my video. And please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos.